Revolver tracks are a new addition to Samplitude 11. They can be accessed by clicking on this icon here and also from the track menu. Revolver tracks can be used to store different edited versions of single tracks, multiple tracks or complete projects. They work in a similar fashion to playlists. In this video, I am going to show you how to use them in conjunction with the Take Manager by recording four takes of multi-track drums. I'm using punch in and out markers and turning on punch. Loop is turned on. Quickly draw in a range and I'm ready to record. I'm recording four takes between the punch in and punch out markers. So that's the drums recorded. Each take has a slight variation of the basic groove. There's a simple way to audition the takes. Firstly, select the four objects by left clicking on the top one and shift left clicking on the bottom one. It's also a good idea to group the objects as well. Click on the group object icon or you can use the hotkey Control plus G. Open the manager by clicking on the manager tab at the bottom and go to the takes tab. You can now see the four different takes in a list. Make sure you have replace takes on all tracks ticked in this case. I can quickly switch between the four different takes by selecting them in the take manager. This can also be done in real time during playback. Alternatively, you can also choose different takes by holding down the control modifier and right clicking to open the list. Because the option replace takes on all tracks is enabled, this means that switching a take for one object switches them all. Time to bring revolver tracks into the equation. First thing to do is make sure all four tracks are selected. The top track is highlighted already, so shift left click the bottom one and now all tracks change to a light shade of grey. This denotes they are selected. I'm now going to click on one of the revolver track icons, anyone will do, and from the list I will select new revolver track copy. Notice that the revolver track icons have now changed colour to show they are active. A copy has now been made of the selected tracks and if I left click on the icon again you can see the original version is at the top of the list. It's been given a creation time and date and the one below is the copy I just made and is pending. The track names have also been amended. I can now begin working on a copy of the original takes. Make sure you have auto crossfade mode turned on. I'm placing the play cursor at bars 3, 4 and 5 and pressing T to split the objects at those positions. I'm swapping take 1 for take 2 between bars 3 and 4 and swapping take 1 for take 3 between bars 4 and 5. I'll adjust the beginning of take 3 slightly. Left click and drag the handle at the bottom corner. Now I'm going to click on the revolver track icon and select the original takes from the top of the list. This can be done from any track as they are multi-selected and will automatically switch together. 
Select new revolver track copy again. So now I can begin editing another copy of the original. Holding down the Alt modifier disables snapping and I can freely position the cursor where I please and split where necessary. Control right click to choose a new take for that section. I'll split the object at bar 5 again and choose take 3 for that. I'm making the cuts fairly randomly just to give you an idea of the workflow involved. This time I'll make a revolver track copy of this edited version and continue working on the copy. So the copy is now added to the bottom of the list. I'll swap take 2 for take 3 for this section and switch take 3 to take 4 for the end section. Lastly, I'll make a copy of that copy and continue editing. Alt modifier to disable snapping and I can again freely position the cursor, hit T and split the objects. Control right click and choose a new take. I'll try take 3 instead of 4. That should do for now. Click on the revolver icon and we have a list of all the revolver tracks. The top one contains the original untouched takes. I can either choose an edit group from the list or rotate the different edited versions using the hotkeys Alt, Page, Up or Down. Let's try that. Revolver track edit 1, edit 2, edit 3 and edit 4 and we're back to the original untouched revolver track. Just one last thing worth noting, if you want to deselect the selected tracks, just control left click on the name of one of the tracks and all the others will be deselected. Anyway, as you can see, revolver tracks combined with the take manager can prove to be a powerful combination.